I think what's really important for the Bahia competition is that we each take control of different areas. I'm really good at telling people what to do. Before competing, the girls have to master a vital skill, how to build and maintain a wood fire. Why? Because cooking with firewood is the magic ingredient that gives an authentic paella its trademark smoky taste. So I brought them half an hour west of the city to Arroceria Las Bairetas. Wow! Wow! For a little baptism of fire. Look how big this kitchen is! Wow! No, this is huge! Rafa! Paella Prince, Rafa Margos, is going to be their fire master for the day. This is incredible. This is like a paella cathedral. Rafa has a restaurant with a very busy takeout service, which includes the pan, as long as it's returned to Rafa the next day. With his 100-yard-long production line, he can cook up to 220 paellas at a time. Bienvenidas a... y bienvenidos al paellero más grande del mundo. Cooking with fire may seem primitive, but around here, it is a sophisticated business. La paella valenciana se vale sobre todo de cuatro tipos de leña. La aliaga, el sarmiento, la madera de naranjo y la madera de pino. The first is used as a fire starter, a prickly Mediterranean shrub called aliaga, otherwise known as gores. The second is a thicker type of vine called Sarmiento. Then Rafa uses thin sticks of pine wood, known as Pino, to keep the fire going. Fijaros como vamos siempre de leña más finita a leña más gruesa. And the fourth wood is orange wood, which creates a steady flame and infuses the paella with an incredible aroma. And the amazing thing is that all these woods, they are par of the ecosystem of this land. So everything is sync, everything makes sense, everything belongs. Aprons on and we're ready. Rafa's got a huge order. And we're also making an extra one for us. In total, we've got seven fires to keep burning. Oh boy, this could get ugly. I'm not sure I can watch. Ahí, perfecto, vamos allá. Venga, venga, que empezamos, chicas, ahí. En que no se os apaguen, eh, por favor. First, the meat goes in. Now there's no turning back. We've got to keep these flames alive. Hey, we're doing it! Fantástico. Buen trabajo, eh? Every fire has to burn at the same rate. How the heck does Rafa manage that? He's so smart, he's adding more fire with the necessary so we can keep spreading it out to the ones that aren't really picking up that much. So this is all about playing with fire. This one doesn't have that much fire, so we have to take one out and then put it into this one. Okay, this one has too much, this one has too little. Come on, Ina, stop, stop, stop. Vamos, vamos, dale, 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 que sin miedo, sin miedo. Whoa, Carlota, you're almost as bossy as dad. Good job, guys. Now Raf is adding water to make the stock. We have to fire up the heat to get it to boil. Venga, un poquito más de leña, chicas. A estas tres ya nos quedan, vámonos. Yeah, you got it, Carl. We need more. Come on, I'm going, I'm going. Hay que echar leña con las dos manos, eh? No vale con una mano nada más, porque si no... Always with two hands, ladies. Always with two hands. Oh, God. Watch out. Burning. Vegetables next. Those green and white beans. I love the way our dad has left us to do this on our own. This is not easy. Y ahora ya estamos bien de leña, chicas. So now we're opening the rice. Qué chulo. Rice is in. Lastly, the rice, which will soak up all the intense flavors of the stock. Un par de palitos a cada una, porfa, chicas. Yes, chef. This is hard work. Bueno, chicas, muchísimas gracias por la ayuda. Lo habéis hecho genial, de verdad, eh? We did it, guys. That's sí, no? Venga, a comer. Woo! Let's go. We crushed it. Dad is not going to believe it. I'm sure he thought we'd burn the place down. Dad, you're back. Look at where we're at. Oh, my God. Vamos a socarrar, chicos, ya, eh? Perfect timing. As well as controlling a wood fire, another important part of cooking perfect paella is mastering something called desucarrat. 
Socorrat is paella's intensely flavored crunchy base that forms right at the very end. Just after the rice has absorbed all the water and there is only oil left in the pan. It's when it gets to the peak of its flavor. Rafa is going to turn up the heat and cook the rice for about a minute to get it all nice and crispy. He's adding fire. But he's got to get this exactly right or he'll burn the paella. It takes years of experience controlling a fire to master socarrat. Smells delicious. Mira el socarrat. You can see it on the edges. Getting it right is tricky, particularly when there is a lot of pressure on you. I know from experience. I see the voice of my father in my brain. Now the fire lower, now the fire higher. He like never stops. That's why for me it was so amazing making the paella with my father since I was little. Yes, sir. So that's it. It's done. It looks good, but taste and texture is everything. This is so good. Delicious. This rice is smoky and full of flavor. I could eat paella forever. Mmm. Bravo. Incredible. Amazing. When we tried it, you could taste the, the smokiness. And you could really, really tell the difference that firewood makes on the paella when you make totally. it with firewood. And that was awesome. 